<laughs> Just it didn't the really shirt? work the way I planned. It didn't work the way I planned. I was trying to have like a skeleton on my head, but then I looked at the camera and I'm like, it doesn't work. See, <laughs> make them dance. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Welcome everybody to Zia Comic Weekly, where we get ready to nerd out for the next half hour. Oh man, on this gloomy Wednesday, by the way. Oh yeah. I, I like it, man. I, I really am enjoying the weather because it just kind of starts getting you in the spirit of of the the, the festivities. <laughs> So yeah, as long as it only happens every once in a while. <laughs> Lived on the East Coast and it was like we'd have three months straight. Yeah, I think a, a bit of sunshine by the weekend, but this week. <laughs> well, this will probably be sunny no, by, man, I, by this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I, it's what we're hoping for. <laughs> oh man. Hey guys, uh, of course, thanks for checking in with us. Uh, of course, we are online. You guys can tune in with us. If there's something you guys want us to talk about, jump in the conversation. I'm already seeing people jump in right now. So uh, it looks like we are locked and ready to go. Uh, what's going on with you, Troy, the waterlogged? <laughs> uh, I'm just planning all the El Paso Horror Fest stuff, man. It's it's getting close and everything is coming due. And I've got a ton of paperwork I have to turn in for different things to get this thing going. So, so yeah, no yeah. sleep for you at all. Uh, I after this one, we're we're done for the year until El Paso Comic Con in April next year. So we get a we get a little break there. Yeah, I, I mean, but you know, it's never really a break though because you're still working. Yeah, I'm still booking people. F I've already booked some people for El Paso Comic Con and some people for anime. So, I mean, it just never ends. It's always constantly booking people. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep him busy. That's the that's the plan, ultimately, is to keep him busy and, and, and make sure he never sleeps. I, I, I don't sleep much. Between work and my dog, who wakes up at 3 in the morning, <laughs> I don't get much sleep. Oh, man. By the way, guys, I know I was trying to get this whole Evil Joey thing going. We were just talking about this off the air, and uh, yeah, it uh, didn't happen. Evil Joey will not be making an appearance today. Instead, <laughs> you're getting normal Joey. <laughs> Is there so, such a thing as normal Joey? Uh, there really isn't. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it just, uh, let's see. You already got some comments coming in this morning right now. Let's see what we got. We got, uh, let's get uh, Tobin Bell, make it happen. Not this year. Yeah. <laughs> we're fully booked for this year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so, uh we got a pretty full i'm looking at the lineup we got a pretty full lineup for this year considering it's a first year event and we got a couple of big names so i mean uh i understand everybody has their favorite um guest they want to see but we can't bring them all in in one year so tobin bell yeah. uh well i'll try to work on him for next year i i just can't do it this year you know, Matt, and we were saying last week that this seems like the perfect time, especially because it's right before you start to get into the festivities of the month. So it's kind of like that launch you put. There's going to be something for everyone for Horror Fest. And then you got, you know, you got everything that leads into to October. So, I mean, it's a perfect time. Seventh and eighth, man. That's it's great. And I would say, man, it's the perfect way to start off your fright month. So yeah, we can get yourself scared and hyped up for the month. Yeah, we didn't want to conflict with everybody's Halloween parties or all the other companies, you know, bars and stuff like that that are having crazy Halloween con uh, get-togethers and events. So we figured we'd do it at the beginning of October to, to kick off the spooky season and that wouldn't conflict with anybody. <laughs> That's right. Spooky season can officially start with Horror Fest uh, October 7th <laughs> and 8th. Uh, where could they get the tickets? El Paso Horror Fest .com. You can click the little button there to get your tickets. Or if you're a vendor, you can, there's still some booths available. And I just put up the photo op link last night. So if you want to get your photo op with some of these guys, uh, you might want to do that in advance. And I think they're going to put up a couple of the group photo ops, uh, you know, like the nice. people under the stairs, the two ghost faced. We've got two guys who've been ghost faced on screen. And uh, there's a couple other group things they're putting together. And those should be up. If they're not up now, they'll be up very soon. By the way, over the next couple of weeks, I plan on wearing a Halloween theme shirt uh, on the show. <laughs> I, I have, I've already picked out, I've already bought a couple, even including, you know, some in honor of Horror Fest. So this is just the first one. Hold on. By the way, I got to show you this. 
<laughs> I like it. <laughs> so this will be this will be T-shirt number one. So then when we get to to as we get closer and closer, we'll see how scary we can get. <laughs> By the way, I don't know when I'm going to ever wear these shirts again. I, I don't know if I'm ever, I was like, hey, you don't wear it during Christmas. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Just every day. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, make sure you guys I have any scary Halloween shirts. I'll be honest. This is a, a, a wife. This is my wife finding something and saying, hey, I thought he would like it. And so she bought it. And I'm like, hey, I needed more t shirts. So, this so happened to be with Halloween. Maybe I'll wear my David S. Pumpkin suit next week. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> By the way, that guy's legendary, man. I, I Tom Hanks is amazing. And how does that character become the new it character? I just I, and it wasn't that great of a skit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. It was a dumb skit. It really Who was. But it just it's like it was supposed to be dumb and it just turned into this cult following because of just how any question. It's just it's funny, man. Well, Tom, everybody loves Tom Hanks, so. Yeah, no, I mean, that is starting to be, I mean, if they ever get off the writer strike, I mean, hopefully we can get a David S. Humpton skit for SNL, uh, but I don't <laughs> think that's happening, so. But no, it's really starting to become one of those things where we look forward. They even had its own animated video last mm -hmm. year, so. Uh, somewhere, Tom uh, Tom Hanks is getting a check, so good for him. <laughs> Do they get residuals from Saturday Night Live? Appearances? I, mean, I would think so. I would think so, man. He has to be getting hmm. something. I know they the actors don't get anything for streaming. That that's one of the things they're crying about. <laughs> that's that, true. Yeah, it goes to Netflix. They don't see a penny. <laughs> what about the merch, though? You got to think. Is there's how many David S. Pumpkins are we going to see on Halloween? Uh, well, I bought mine. It was just a generic Halloween, a generic um, Halloween suit from Sam's Club. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how all good SNL skits start, though. Yeah, yeah. What do we got in the wardrobe? Yeah, throw that on. <laughs> it's we'll see if it sticks. It if it stays, we'll we'll go with it. We'll play it out for the next sixteen years. <laughs> I think they stuff like that. They have to categorize it and and catalog it so that they have to come back to it. They can pull it. So they have like yeah. warehouses full of stuff like that, especially for so, series when they have series. You know, on it. See, David as pumpkins might be the way to go this Halloween because I, I I don't see myself getting in another inflatable costume ever again, man. That was that was way too much last year. I had one. I had one of those T Rex ones, and they are not comfortable. <laughs> and you can't no, hear. Them I thought that blower motor. I really thought I was like, oh man, you know, it's gonna be cold during Halloween. I'll be nice and warm. No, I was way too hot. I couldn't hear anything. Anybody that come and talk to me, like I don't even recall seeing you on the plaza at Halloween. I may have saw you. I just didn't see you because I was in this big costume. <laughs> it's like wearing a portable sauna, those things. <laughs> it's a sweat box. I know. I, although if you do want to lose some weight for Thanksgiving, that's probably your ideal way of doing it. <laughs> come out 30 pounds lighter. <laughs> it's like, all right, who's ready to feed me? I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh my yeah, gosh. I wouldn't wear one of those. I, I had one. I got rid of it. It's, nope. Yeah, no, it, it's it's not sticking around this year. But uh Horror Fest uh 2023, guys. Once again, get your tickets. And of course, any other updates, of course, we'll make sure we keep you up to date. And I, I see on the social media you're always updating people uh on the Zia Comics page, whether it's stuff that you guys got going on at Zia Comics or getting people the latest updates uh with any upcoming event you guys got going on. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys check it with Troy because you know, there's always updates and answering people's questions too. Yeah, I mean, follow. We're, we're on. Uh, we're all over the place, but mainly Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to stay on Twitter. Yeah, it seems like it's dying on the vine. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there because the vine dying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man troy uh, i wanted to talk to you about a new way for us to stay awake because apparently we might be trendsetters when it comes to how to stay awake and it's called caffeine ramen how about having your next contest be caffeine ramen <laughs> so have people bouncing all over the booths <laughs> at the event caffeine ramen that yeah, they, it, they, how, do they well, they make it with coffee or tea or something. I don't know. 
I guess apparently the substance that will be in there, they're trying to do it. And of course, who are they targeting? The nerds. And they're yeah. saying that they're coming out with two different two different types, but they're saying it so that way, you know, nerds that want to stay up and, you know, they want to be able to, you know, whether it's their video games or whatever else they got going on, they're targeting the nerds for this new caffeinated ramen. So you drink your Jolt Cola and have a bowl of caffeinated ramen <laughs> and then your heart yep. explodes. <laughs> <laughs> then you go to sleep forever. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You're going to go to sleep forever on that one. Uh, yeah, no, this new com- this company, actually, it's Cup Noodles that's doing this. They're creating this, and they're creating a caffeinated ramen, and they're trying to target. Like I said, they're looking out for which demo would enjoy this, and I guess we just we scream ramen and energy drinks to stay awake. That They're like, hey, that's our demographic right there. So, so not only that, but they make it instant. I mean, it, the, the cup of noodles comes with what you eat it in. <laughs> So they're making it even easier for you. Right. They're like, hey, you know what? I was just thinking about it, too, because, you know, we're up early. How about instead of coffee, just have caffeinated ramen? Drinking a cup of noodles on the way into work. <laughs> hey, I mean, that's it's a, it's a, hey, I'll be having breakfast at least. They would. Uh, is the Surgeon General going to have to put a warning on there? I, I would think so, man. I, I just like too much I, of this I, cup of noodles will cause cardiac arrest. <laughs> exactly. Well, I just thought it was kind of funny because even looking at this and they're saying it's like, you know, we're really looking to there were, you know, and they mentioned it was gamers and it was those that were into they it's so kindly words put that, you know, <laughs> us nerds that that's what they were targeting. But, yeah, I guess they figured with, you know, so many different products out there. Why not do a cup of ramen? A cup of caffeine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Enjoy so, though, how much caffeine is in it? Is it like more caffeine content than a cup of coffee? Or uh, I guess it's supposed to be right around there with the same content with as far as the, the coffee. Uh, but they're saying they're they're looking to still keep that same energy, so that way you're you're wide awake throughout the day. So, what if you used coffee to make the ramen, and then had a, a jolt cola with it? <laughs> You know what that says? That says you're going to be in the bathroom for three hours. <laughs> I can taste callers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? The, I was like, I don't know why, guys. I'm tasting the color red. <laughs> this tastes like blue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, right? Have you guys ever tasted blue before? It tastes amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. They definitely love to uh, They love to figure out how to, to, to get more of our money. But, yeah, no, the... The caffeinated cola, um, the caffeinated ramen is coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. And then on the other end, the world's hottest chip has been discontinued. Ooh, the Pocky? Yes, the Pocky world's hottest chip after an unfortunate situation with a 10-year-old uh, passing away from the world's hottest chip. Uh, you're not going to find them out anymore these days, and uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I know you've been holding on to a world's hottest chip, and it's too scary, man. I got it. I don't want to do it alone. I'm a wuss. <laughs> I've seen some people that were, and you know what's the best about, especially they're like, oh, no, it doesn't do anything to me. And then later it does. And uh-huh. you're like, yeah, what do you think? It was just going to be instant? No, it lasts forever. Well, they, they recommend that you open it with gloves on. Because as soon as you eat it and you start sweating and your eyes start to water, they don't want you to touch your eyes and face with that chip dust. Oh man, I don't can know you why. imagine getting some in your eye? Right, that's just, I don't yeah. even know how would you take that pain away. You don't. You just you have to ride it out. <laughs> it, I, I, that just seems like twenty four hours of just horrible pain that I don't ever want to experience. Yeah, I've I've heard it last at least I've a couple hours. At least a couple hours. Uh, uh, no, I'm, that doesn't seem like how I want to spend the next couple hours. Now, if I did it at work and got to go home, then cool. <laughs> they just sit in a corner in a fetal position crying while Jackie finishes the morning show. <laughs> I mean, she's going to have to. I can't, I can't see. <laughs> it's now the Martine and Jackie show. <laughs> oh, my. No, was it? Hey, Martine's got to step in at some point. Like, Here you go, Martine. I was like, I have now been severely blind. <laughs> I'll bring that chip in. We can split it. I don't know, man. I, it does scare me. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll one of us may go to the hospital. Three ways. We get all of us in pain. 
<laughs> Can we do this on a Friday, though? It's like a Friday that I know you that ruin really your weekend. <laughs> I would do it on a Monday and then I can call in the rest of the week. Can't make it. Still sick. <laughs> yep, still hurting. Tongue is still blue. <laughs> oh, I... man. Uh, looking at uh, what we've got going on on our favorite streams, uh, as far as Disney Plus, have you been keeping up with uh, Ahsoka? I am behind. I haven't seen the new one that everybody. You got your Star Wars guys out there who just, they do nothing but complain about everything. And then you got guys like me who just, I just want to be entertained. I find it entertaining. Uh, I know they're complaining about um, Anakin Skywalker's de-aging um, in this most recent episode. And everybody's, oh, it looks so horrible. Like, just shut up and watch it. Come on, guys. Yeah. No, you know what? I, uh, Troy, I'm starting to get upset because as much as I, I mean, I haven't, I have I've started Ahsoka, but what's really starting to ruin these shows and I'm really starting to, I mean, I know I talk about it every week, but I mean, the same thing with the Marvel shows is these people are watching these shows like as soon as they drop and they've already given you a full explanation as to why they hate it. That I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm just tired. Of, I'm like, oh man, they've kind of ruined it. Even if they do, I don't even care if they do spoilers, but I feel like they've ruined it because by the time you get to it, you're just like you said, I just want to be, be entertained. But everybody has the TikTok opinion, and you're like, okay, I'm I'm kind of done with it. That's what I kind of felt like happened for Secret Invasion for me. I uh, I I try to avoid those guys online. They're, they're like uh, I call them Eeyores because they're always nothing is good for them. It's oh bother. Didn't like the thing, <laughs> And then the thing they get excited for is the thing they're like, well, that was supposed to happen. Like, yeah. what like, what are okay, you expecting, like, man? Shakespeare. <laughs> by the way, hey guys, these are TV shows. I just want to remind y'all, these are TV shows. I mean, if you are expecting cinematic quality, not everybody's got the Disney budget. So we should just be happy with what we get. Well, speaking of that, I heard they're bringing She-Hulk for another season. I, I which did hear that. I hear I'm excited. <laughs> um, I wondering with the upcoming Captain Marvel movie, do you think we're going to get a She-Hulk uh, cameo? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, we got a Hulk cameo and a Daredevil cameo in the She-Hulk. So actually, She-Hulk had a ton of cameos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I and I, I love that stuff, man. I, I eat that stuff up. Uh, I'm not looking for, you know, uh, uh, War and Peace from a Marvel movie. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I, I loved She-Hulk. I thought it was a really great series, and I'm glad that they didn't cave in to the toxic fanboys and they're actually going to do another season. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's uh, – and, you know, and that was another one that I think got a lot of people that they were like, oh, the 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 graphics weren't as – the quality wasn't as good. But, yeah, you know, that was, that was a, I know, a big talking point for She-Hulk. But then that ending, I think, really kind of opened people's minds up that they were just like, oh, wait, it I don't know. I felt like that was kind of like the step that they needed to say, guys, this is what it is. And once again, like you said, we just want to be entertained, man. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how I look at it. I go to to watch TV and movies to escape from my life for about an hour and a half. <laughs> Three hours for something like Oppenheimer, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I, I mean, I, you, we got to be, be grateful for what we got right now because we don't know how much longer this, you know, especially when it comes to Marvel and Star Wars, and just kind of the deals that seem to get made these days. We don't know how much more we're gonna get. And I mean, DC, as much as they keep trying, we just never know where the the superhero world is gonna end up. Well, I mean, not just with superheroes, just with any. When I was growing up. Man, uh, you didn't get to see new movies. If you didn't catch it in the theater, you, you got to wait for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years for it to hit VCR so you can go and rent it. Uh, we didn't have this on-demand stuff. You had to be there at that specific time or you ain't seeing it. <laughs> Preach, because you had to wait a year for the VHS. I remember that, especially with Indiana Jones. Uh, when that first came out in theaters, uh, I lived in Podunk, Indiana. We didn't really have a theater nearby. <laughs> I had to wait. It was. Uh, I think that one took two years, man. I, every week we would go to the video rental place. Like, you got it? You got it? Nope, got not it. out yet. 
And then when it did came out, oh, we only have three copies, and they're rented out for another year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was always the worst, right? They're like, oh, why would you have millions of copies? It's the biggest movie. And they're like, oh, sorry. Uh, that's all we're looking for. Or Blockbuster, when they because they put the movies behind the thing. So you're like flipping behind all of them, trying to find it. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're taking people down nostalgia. And for those that are around their 20s, they probably have no idea what we're talking about. No, if they want to see a movie, they just scroll on their phone. All right, here. Okay, uh, I'm watching it. <laughs> Dude, it was an oh. ordeal when you wanted to see a new movie back when I was growing up. You know what, though? Even now, like, I was uh, recently going through uh, some, some goodies that I had from back in the day. And finding my old TV series of, like, some of my favorite shows. Like, I had a collection of Dragon Ball Z DVDs and specials throughout the years that I'm like, man... Nowadays, they're just right there streaming, where back then they were all on discs. Well, I'll, I'll go even farther back. Do you remember TV Guide? Oh, <laughs> yes. And yeah, you live by that, too. You just went through You had, yeah, that little grid of what was playing and when. Yeah. yeah. And I always had a crappy little crossword in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, no, I, uh, I remember that. And then the worst part about all that is that if – something changed so say there was like and then you would just look you're like wait a minute but it said it was supposed to be at eight o'clock why isn't it at eight o'clock and then you're like having to start figuring out oh wait that's mountain standard time it's yep. eastern time they're going off at of this time like it was or they had a special report or the president was speaking <laughs> you ain't seen it it, it just and we join your program in progress. <laughs> no. Halfway through the episode, they ain't yep. starting that episode over. They're just, there it is. Yep. yep. Oh, <laughs> that was your edition of why Joey and Troy are so old. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Good. It was great times. <laughs> uh, circling to uh, Stranger Things. So, of course, with the writer strike going on. And, you know, everybody's going back and forth. When are they going to start production? What's going to happen? Uh, it seems to be there's still some hope for Stranger Things to make a grand finale once the writer strike is over. Um, some rumors going around, Troy, saying that uh, it may be in a movie form rather than episode. They may end the final season in the form of a movie rather than, you know, ep you know, chapter one, two, three. They may just go a three-hour movie that you can stream on Netflix. What are your thoughts about that? You think three hours is enough? I mean, obviously, the episodes are about an hour each. But do you think three hours will be enough of to, to wrap up that story for such an amazing franchise for Netflix? Yeah, I mean, if you cut out all the filler, because a lot of those episodes had a lot of stuff that could have been edited out anyway. Uh, I think some of that stuff they added just so they could hit 10 episodes. But... I, I don't hate the fact that it's going to be uh, a, maybe a movie instead, especially if it's streaming, because then I can watch it on my couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this does lead to a good point, because I think you and I have been saying since this strike has been going on that, you know, a lot of these programs, especially when they're involving kids. I mean, you got to catch. I mean, the cast is 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 older. <laughs> so how do you I mean, obviously, there'll be a, a time leap forward. But now, like you said, get rid of a lot of the fluff and go ahead and let's get to the point of it and let's wrap up the series. So maybe wrapping this up, another one that comes to mind, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai's got a final season, too. Yeah, I'm sad about that one. I don't want it to end. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, and I know, I mean, you got to love, you know, the, the blogs out there. Some people have even said there should be spinoffs of Hawk and other characters, like them going to college. I think that'd be great, but but I think we're getting to that point where it's like, what do we do for the future of these franchises? And maybe going to these movies would probably be the route. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you don't want to saturate the market where people are just sick of seeing stuff from it. But uh, if they do it, uh, you know, correctly and, and piecemeal it out instead of just dumping, you know, a thousand Cobra Kai shows at once while on the market. It could work. I mean, you take your more popular characters, like you said, with Hawk and, uh, well, basically Hawk, <laughs> maybe Stingray. <laughs> I'd, I'd totally watch a series with Stingray. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I would be in. 
I mean, <laughs> there's just there's got to be something out there that keeps these franchises alive. And I mean, unless they can work something out, great. I can't wait to see them back on 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 our streaming platforms. But if it's a matter of getting closure, then hey, man, if you could put together one hell of a movie, and not only that, if the cost is less, I'm sure you know movie movie studios would start to look at that. Yeah, I'm just afraid they're going to start going back and hitting all of our old shows and trying to uh, hit that nostalgia. Are we going to see a BJ and the Bear series again? Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe some Knight Rider. Yeah, I don't. You know, uh, what was a Blue Thunder? I mean, there's a ton of these ones they could bring back that have a little bit of nostalgia. But how long is that going to work? Yeah, I mean, I think Cobra Kai popularity was off of the karate kid obviously it was because but to then like take it into a different perspective and not only did it get us older folks that remember the original karate kid but then you had the younger generation that were invested and i think they did a really good job of doing that compared to some of these reboots that we're talking about you know say by the bell being one of them i mean i really tried to to reboot that and it just didn't work yeah, I, the only thing I'm hoping for in this last season of Cobra Kai, are they going to bring in uh, Will Smith's son? <laughs> and are they going to bring in uh, the female Karate Kid? Um, what's her name? Million Dollar Baby, that actress. Oh, uh, we, we went uh, through I this never remember last time. <laughs> Hillary Swank. Yeah, I mean, are they going to make... That's it. Are they going to make cameos? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we always love a good cameo. I mean, and trust me, if we can get those, I, I'm definitely <laughs> looking forward to it. But I, I don't know. And Netflix, and let's let's be real, some of these streaming uh, services have had some really good shows. I mean, you've mentioned the one you've seen on Hulu. Uh, and just there's there's a lot of great content. Apple TV has had some amazing programming. I mean, they are right now. I would put them. I think you would agree is the top, you know, streaming service is for original programming right now did did you watch silo did you finish silo yet i haven't i haven't i haven't finished silo yet i'm uh i'm we've started it but it's like you can't watch it with new people you got to kind of watch it with okay so me and the wife are watching it i can't have my mom come in and like oh so what's happening because then you get the why, the why is she question. doing that why yeah i no. yeah no you gotta you gotta either start it or stop it what, 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 like we're either joining this journey together or we're not uh that was one that, you know, it's just there's just so much great programming on that network that it's like if we can get the original programming, I think I'd be more towards the original programming rather than the reboots. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and a lot of those are based, like I think Silo is based off of a book. There's a ton of them that are based off of books. So, um, you know, these guys go to the library and look around. You can make movies out of just about every book in there. You know, and I even think you said this too uh, a couple weeks ago. We had talked about like even comics, like not everything is an action story in com comics. So there's some mm -hmm. great storylines in comic that they could go back and say, hey, we could turn this into a movie or even a, a franchise that could be a limited run. And it can be engaging to a lot of people. And you got to think it's already got a built in audience, especially if it's coming from a comic book or a book or some other outlet of media. Yeah, definitely. I, I, we need to get Hollywood needs to get out of the decision making in movies because uh, they're only motivated by, you know, the bottom dollar. That's why Korea and India are putting out these amazing movies right now that are coming over to Netflix uh, because they're not beholden to stockholders. Um, they, they make these really good. Movies. I mean, you had Last Train to Busan. You had uh, Squid Games. You had Parasite. Uh, moving now on Hulu, Hulu original. There's some good stuff coming out of Korea. I can't remember the names of the ones from India, but they're just as good. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of great, just great presentations that definitely could be on our screens and we could enjoy. And I don't know, man, I, I just, there's going to be a shift, I think, when all this is said and done when it comes to the, the writer strike. And I think you're going to see a lot of the creators a lot of the originators like you and I, like even those, I mean, I know we spitball a lot of dumb ideas, but man, if someone couldn't take that idea and run with it though, like you're just like, Oh, you're right. Why not start a show about somebody that, you know, lives in the middle of the desert and, and who knows what created creativity and you don't need a big movie budget and you're not being held to some studio. 
Yeah, maybe uh, they'll have some kind of creator-owned movie thing, like uh, in comics with Image Comics. That that's where they originated. All these guys wanted to own their ideas instead of Marvel and DC. Basically, if you had the idea while you worked for them, it's their idea. So they went to Image and it's creator owned. They come up with the idea, they get all of it, and Image just is the publishing house for them. So if we can do something like that for movies, that would be amazing. amazing. Oh man, I tell you, just I would be excited just to see the content and the years of content that we'd be getting in. There's just so many outlets. I mean, there's a cash flow there for somebody, and especially whoever's the first one to take it and run with it. My God. Oh yeah. Yeah. So guys, that was another free one from Troy and I. Yeah, I mean, we should be getting paid consultant fees for, for all these ideas we're throwing out there. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to be getting paid right now, even though the, the, the strike is going on. <laughs> so why can't it be us? I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> Send your money to us. We'll yeah, make a movie No, for I you. mean, I don't know. <laughs> hey, look, I got a phone right now. I got two cell phones right here. We can film it. We can give you different shots. And Martine. We, if you guys need an action shot, we can have Martine just run down the street holding a camera. Yeah, we we have a tech guy, so it's good. What more do you want, man? <laughs> Look, we're good. Do we need catering? We need, I can food pick service? up some sandwiches on the way to the set. <laughs> we'll stop at Subway. <laughs> there you go. See, there we go. We're going to split a, a foot long. <laughs> you get three inches. Oh, you my get three God. Inches, you get three inches. That's all you get. No more. Hey man, if you got if you're gonna be here longer, then I'll give you a full sandwich. But until then, chips. we're on a budget. This isn't like Paramount. We can't afford chips. <laughs> <laughs> you got water out of the hose. Okay, you can go get some water there, and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! If you want to stay up to date with Troy, uh, how can they follow you? How can they stalk you on the socials? Uh, we're all over interwebs. We got uh, Meta, Insta, X, <laughs> YouTube, and Tiki Taki. That's right. And me, Hot 103's Facebook, uh, Hot 103's Big Show, uh, Hot 103, uh, Big Show FM on Instagram, and Joey on the FM on TikTok. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's it. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on X, sorry. So I can't remember the last time I posted an X. So <laughs> it's been some years. Guys, this has, been another, <laughs> this has been another edition of Zia Comic Weekly. We'll see you all next week. Later, nerds. Later, nerds.